Okay, so I'm kind of in the middle of a video of fixing this thing from the last collaboration where we bent the front end. I am in the middle of, you know, the video fixing the front end, fixing a couple things here and there. I did buy new shocks. I'm waiting for those new shocks to get here to finish that video. But in the meantime, this video, we get to get this thing ready for the Grind Hard collaboration. I just found out today of what we're actually doing at this collaboration. I, did, I never really knew what we were doing. I, I was always told that we're doing an overlanding trip. Never understood what that meant until today where I found out we are overlanding on these. We're taking these off-roading and then camping with them and then driving. We're doing two nights and three days of camping with these and I need to figure out how to bring a bunch of camping gear, a bunch of food, gas, extra parts I need. I need to figure out a way to get all that stuff on here for three days. So obviously we're not going to be able to fit anything on here so we're going to have to build a trailer for this thing to tow and we'll just put everything on the trailer. So, I have six days to build the trailer and get this thing ready. I leave in six days. So, uh, oh boy, better get to work. Now, instead of, you know, finding like a small motorcycle trailer and modifying it to work for the Ninja, I think I'm just going to build one from scratch. It's not going to be faster, but it's, I think it's, it's going to be a little bit easier. And, uh... Definitely easier than trying to find something that's in decent shape around here. So now I just went to Tractor Supply and I bought a coupler and a tow ball. This was the smallest one that they had, just an inch and seven eighths. Hopefully it's small enough. Now I don't really want to buy anything for this project. Cause I'm going to try and just use just a bunch of parts that I already have and I don't really want to spend any money on this thing. So I'm going to do what I do best and just start working on this thing and figure it out as I go along.
Alright, so now we have to figure out how we're doing suspension on this little thing. Because I do want to add some type of suspension. I don't want this thing bouncing around all over the place behind me. And the original plan was using four link suspension. Basically how I had the how I have the ninja set up. I was gonna do four link on this. But after setting it up for four link and you know doing this, um, I found out I don't have enough of these uh, half inch heim joints that fit into a uh, one inch outer diameter tubing. I don't have enough, I'm like, I'm short one of them. So I, I could take off one on the steering on the CBR 1000, but I really don't wanna, I, I just finished the steering on that thing. So let's figure out a different way to do some type of suspension on here. The only other way I can think of is a uh, semi-independent suspension, basically a big heim joint in the front connecting down to down to this, and then having a pan hard bar connecting from here to to this, keeping it from moving back and forth. That's the only other suspension style I can think of that would work for this. And then I have these little cheap uh, e eBay shops, and uh, just gonna put two, you know, one of them here and one of them over there, just to have you know some type of suspension. So I guess it would be better. This doesn't have to be super fancy. It is a trailer. I guess it would be better using three heim joints instead of eight. So, you know, I guess it's, you know, the, the simpler the better, I guess.
Alright, so the trailer is almost done. Uh, we still need to add the aluminum floor pan, but before we do that, we need to figure out where I'm sleeping and how I'm sleeping, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, my original plan was just go to Dick's Sporting Goods and buy like a little one person tent and then just put it on here and then, you know, assemble it when, uh, when, when we're sleeping. Uh, but I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and they not only didn't have any, they were not cheap. So uh, I did find a hammock that I think is going to be a little bit better of an option. This was way cheaper than a tent. And uh, I don't think sleeping in a, ha sleeping in a hammock is going to be that terrible. Better than, uh, better than just a sleeping bag on the ground. So my plan is to somehow turn this into a, uh, into a hammock stand that can be disassembled for transport and then reassembled for sleeping. I think it'll work. Last night I finished welding this whole thing together and uh, I'm probably going to take a wire wheel to all this stuff, just clean it up because uh, next step we need to paint this thing. I'm probably going to be painting this to match the ninja, I'm going to be painting this black and then everything else I'll paint green to, uh, I'll probably also paint the rims green as well. So now unfortunately it's raining today so uh, we need to paint this thing inside. I'm probably going to pull some tarps out and tarp some of this stuff just because I don't want paint getting everywhere.
Alright, painting is finally finished. Uh, it's time for reassembly. It shouldn't take that long. This thing's not that complicated. So the next step is we need to attach the ball to this right here. Now I definitely want to make it detachable, so therefore I'm able to take this bracket that's going to hold this. I definitely want to be able to take it off um, when we're racing this thing. So uh, we got to grind some paint off, I'm going to weld some tabs onto here, and then just uh, make some kind of bracket just to hold this thing.
Alright, so the trailer is finally finished. Uh, I had six days to build this thing, and I now, I'm now leaving in two days, so I had, it only took me four days to build and finish this thing, so it's not that bad. Now, as far as the hammock part of this thing, I don't know if I've shown uh, how it works, but basically these poles are, be are mounted on the frame by these. It scrapes the paint off every single time I uh, put them on and take them off, but this thing's not gonna last forever. So, basically these poles slide into these receiving things right here. And uh, now I did buy another hammock, on, I found another hammock on Amazon. This one has a uh, mosquito net, which is really nice. So I have two hammocks. Probably only gonna bring one, probably gonna only bring the one with the mosquito net because that one's definitely gonna be way more handy. So, but this one is the one I found from Target and uh, fits on here a little bit better. So basically once these are in, it's, you know, ready to mount your hammock. Just snap these on. And just like that, it is finished and ready for uh, sleeping. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Sleeping in a hammock, you know, I, hopefully this thing's not gonna be too tippy with the tires on at least. So, uh, and I tried to make this thing tall enough to where I'm not, you know, hitting the bottom. I'm definitely gonna have to unload all the stuff, you know, on here every time I sleep, but that's not gonna be that big of an issue. So, uh, anyway, that's my sleeping arrangement. Hopefully it's not gonna be too terrible. There are a couple more things I'm going to add to this. I just, I'm not going to show it in this video. I'll save that for the next video because this video is definitely long enough. And I uh, need to finish getting ready and finish, you know, figuring out everything I want to bring on this trip. But uh, I don't, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video. Um, I, I may have to save this video for next Sunday. Um, just because I'm probably going to be gone all week uh, for the collaboration. And then I'll probably need to upload something next week, so I'll probably, I'll probably just save this video for next week. So, so probably once you guys see this video, I'm probably going to be winding down and probably ready to head home. But I'll definitely have a lot of good footage of the overlanding trip. So, anyway, I gotta end this video here. I need to finish figuring out all the stuff I want to bring. I don't want to bring too much, just because I don't want to overload this thing. And I still need to figure out what food I'm bringing, what, what kind of waters, you know, all this stuff. But uh, Anyway, I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work so well. Uh, hopefully it'll work better once the tires are on, but, uh, <laughs> right now I think I got a little work to do on that thing to make it a little bit more stable. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm glad I have security cameras. That was funny.